Okay, oversensitiveness. Um, just to speak on oversensitiveness and um, and if that resonates. Uh, sensitiveness for me is probably talk a little bit um, along the lines of what Hawkins would say. So that, that there are levels of consciousness and each, you know, for example, there's the level of guilt, shame, anger, fear, um, then the levels of um, <clears throat> neutrality, courage, um, uh, peace, acceptance, uh, and love and unconditional love. So each, each level is characterized by certain dualities and, and each individual has certain belief systems which make them, uh, you're only subject to what you hold in mind. So basically, but also the levels of consciousness have a great bearing on that. So when I was in active addiction, in great fear and addiction uh, around my food addiction, other addictions, then um, there's a great sensitivity to the, to the world. It's like, um, because there's, it's almost like the ego cuts off that infinite peace and love and stillness of, of God. And so one's in the head and these huge emotions, fear, shame, guilt, craving that are going on and so many belief systems. I need to be this way, I need to get that. I'm worried about this in the future. Lots and lots of belief systems and collective belief systems. And there are belief systems and sort of um, energies associated with different levels of consciousness. So there's various sensitivities that, that do go on. Uh, if people reject you, if, if I can't get my addiction, if um, whatever. So the sensitivity, sensitivity to um, both the inner world, the ego and its thoughts and emotions and sensitivity to the external world, what's going on with people, places and situations is a direct correlation to the level of consciousness and the clearing of beliefs and the release of the emotions. So as you start to uh, release um, the shame, the guilt by allowing those feelings to evaporate off and start canceling the beliefs or working a spiritual program, then you shift up um, the levels of consciousness. So a sensitivity like um, is quite simply either a belief system or a collection of belief systems which then make you susceptible to whatever, every thought is actually a limitation. Every belief is a limitation because you're not, you're now identifying with a limited thought or a limited belief or a limited belief system, which then gives you a sensitivity or a limitation to something in the world. So, um, so as you sort of start clearing, for, forgiving, praying for a miracle, clearing, canceling your illnesses, your sensitivity to, for example, pollen or your sensitivity to people liking you or not liking you has a correlation, but it's also correlated to the level of repressed feelings. So um, uh, it's, there's also a correlation as well between karma from this lifetime and past lifetimes is to what your sensitivity, sensitivity. So let's say, for example, um, when I'm connected, uh, Somebody come okay, I'm just making a recording. Um, so I hope it's okay if I put everyone on 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 mute. Yep. Okay. So so the sensitivity is um, are the limiting beliefs that I held in mind. They've also correlated. Very much, um, you can sort of see it like the more dense the ego is, the more the, there are repressed feelings and limiting belief systems within the ego, the less that infinite love and light sh is shining, shining from within. And so there's a greater sensitivity to the world and one's inner thoughts and emotions. It's like, as, as you forgive everyone, as you cancel the beliefs in illness, as you cancel the need for validation or affirmation, um, or that anything from the external world it gives sustenance as you cancel those limiting ideas and you release the repressed feelings. It's like the, the inner light of consciousness, the inner light of the infinite comes in. And it's like, then the world seems to be, you seem to be less sensitive to the world. 
often people, if they meditate and they go into a very deep inner peace and stillness, when they come out of it, it's like the world doesn't affect them very much. It's like there's a, the Course in Miracles calls, calls it the, um, the hush of heaven. It's like the world can't intrude. There's like a, a rock solid, infinite peace and love and stillness that almost like muffles out the world. So it can't sort of come in and sort of uh, make one uh, sensitive, you know, oh my God, this person doesn't like me. Oh my goodness, I haven't got enough money. Uh, these fears and, and shames and guilts recede. So it's like, a, it's like that sunlight, that infinite stillness um, uh, reduces is, uh, the, the sensitivity. The more that light is not present, the more one is in thoughts and hasn't re released repressed feelings, uh, the more one is sensitive and the belief systems seem to be quite extreme. Um, so that's how it's it. Um, Dr. Hawkins has a lovely book, Transcending the Levels of Consciousness, where, you know, for example, if you're going from guilt to, um, to fear or from fear to acceptance, there, there are dualities that hold each level of consciousness. So um, uh, certain things will be quite common to certain levels of consciousness with, in terms of sensi sensitivity. Like uh, I'm uh, at the level of desire, craving, addiction, like um, uh, I had food addiction, so I'd be very sensitive. Or I saw a donut, you know, I'd be very, uh, and I couldn't eat it, you know, it would make me feel uh, in a sense of lack or distress or or be in a constant state of craving. Or if you're, if I was in a state of fear, then just reading the newspaper or listening to the news uh, might make me very sensitive to um, um, what's it called, paranoia and things going wrong. So um, yeah, sensitivity. I mean, it does, there's so many things to say, but in truth, um, the infinite peace and silence is not sensitive to anything. It's beyond this world. I have to be in my ego, identified with my ego and my thought systems and my body. And then I become more uh, sensitive to the world because when I, when I identify with thoughts and body, I identify myself as being limited. And uh, when I experience myself as limited, then I experience myself as, um, as at the effect of the world, you see, because if I'm a body, someone can kill me. So I'm sensitive to a bullet, um, but if I'm the infinite, the, the observer, the witnesser, the eternal undying, then I'm not sensitive to a bullet. And if the body got shot, so what? It's not what I am, uh, it doesn't matter. So hence, um, yeah, that's what I would say on sensitivity. But I, would, I, I look at sensitivity as limiting belief systems, which can be cleared and canceled. So I'll stop the... Uh, stop the recording. One sec, give me a second um, to stop.